notified now of what might could happen in their area. They've seen around now the crime levels that have gone up with these uh, centres opening. This idyllic little village of Inch, County Clare, um, 60 males. Um, they're, they're walking around now, their pizza boxes there by the looks of things. Um, look at this beautiful centre, folks. Wouldn't any Irish homeless person love to live in this? Hmm? Absolutely. Unfortunately, I think the locals are a bit wary, and I don't blame them. Um, this is all new to everybody. Uh, it's uh, you know they they're not really sure what's going on. And oh, look who we have here, huh? The Gardaí coming to stop uh, reporters. Far right. Um, Yeah, that the, somebody who rang the guard said the far right are here now. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, they're all safe, folks. Everybody here is safe. The local sergeant. And, uh, yeah, so, I wonder if it was a Timmy Dooley. Um, is the Commissioner Drew Harris there? Like, I mean, if you are a Commissioner, I'm here. Anytime you want to speak to me, um, I'd gladly do an interview with you. Um, but I'll have to have my camera on as well, and uh, we'll talk about what the, the lawlessness that's going on in this country. Um, what is the, why is there two police cars here? Uh, has there been an incident? No? Anyone know if there's been an incident, folks? Are we going to see the Gardaí? Does anyone know if there's been an incident, guys, in here? I'm not, I'm not putting this on camera there. Okay. So two guards, two guarded cars, guys. I don't like if people have if people have um concerns uh you know when something happens, their house gets burgled or something happens in in the area that some crime, their car gets interfered with or whatever. Um it's nearly impossible to get a guard to come within hours, like you'll be waiting hours for a guard. We have four of them now in this building here, so I wonder has there been an incident reported. Here we have the media guys. The ones partly mainly responsible, the government shields. Um that uh, they stay silent, you know, they're on the gravy train. Pretend that they're not uh, they don't want to comment that they don't uh, they don't know anything, you know. Um, but anybody guilty of wrongdoing in this that's five guards gone into that, that place now, folks. Um, does the sound okay, guys? Let me know, please, again. Bit of a sound check. Isn't it fascinating? Um, and we've also heard reports that the people in the tents outside of Mount Street have all been given uh, accommodation. I'm not, I can't confirm that, but I'm hearing reports. Um, so, yeah. Can you give me a five to five, a five by five, people, and and even for the, the picture, is the picture okay for you? Um, it is looking like it's an area, and it mightn't be great broadband in here. So, so fair play to the local people. Um, the guys are listening to the camera. That way, folks. If I want to be on camera, that's fine. Left earlier today. Others left to walk into Ennis, but say they plan to return. The group are men from Algeria, Afghanistan, and other locations. Representatives of Clare Immigrant Support no are now Algeria, at the hotel guys. assisting the men with their social welfare, education, and other needs. Emil O'Connor, who manages that support group, but who has no role in trying to sort out the local opposition, said that whatever the shortcomings of the premises, the accommodation at the McGowan Hotel is certainly better than at City West in Dublin or at the tents being used at the direct provision centre at Knockalishoon. Cathy Halloran, RTE News, County Clare. Are there any homeless people in County Clare, Irish people, who'd love to stay in a place like that? ...has described the blocking of access to the accommodation as complex. He called for a de-escalation of the situation and said that he had engaged in meetings today with government officials and those in the Department of Integration. He added the community would appreciate officials from the department coming to Clare to speak to them. What we need to do here is de-escalate the situation insofar as we can. 
We need to get all sides talking. We need to get information back to the people who have rightly raised their questions and concerns. And we have to try to ensure... Sorry, folks, that's a radio broadcast. Again, the propaganda machine has started. They're terrified of grassroots people standing up for themselves in their local areas. And they're very apprehensive here, with me being here, but uh, I'll ask the guards, is there an incident? Um, that's a substantial amount of guard you need to be in, a, in one place. Two sergeants. Uh, UA. How are you? How are you, lads? Hey, can I speak to the sergeant there, please? I am the sergeant. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Philip Dwyer is my name. I'm the citizen journalist sergeant, yeah. Has it been an incident? Philip, have you been, have you been uh, given the okay to be on the property? Do you own the property, guys? Have you been given the okay to be on the property? No, I'm trying to go in and ask questions. Well, you can, are you a private security now, guard, you can stay sergeant. out there, please. For sergeant, are you a private security you guard? Stay out there, Philip. Like I'm just asking you a fair question. Can you, like can a good you man, sergeant. Can I ask yes, you a question? I am a good man. Can I ask you a question? Can you get rid of the phone, please? I told you no, I'm, I'm, I'm filming anything. and archiving this. On private property, Philip. So you can make are you, yourself, are you, you can the owner, yourself, Sergeant? This is not a civil matter. Stop, stop now bullying me here now. Is this a, it, it is now. You're walking into me now. Is this private property? Are you the owner? Is this but a civil I'm matter? I'm not engaging with you. Is this a civil matter, sir? Sergeant? sergeant, you're a public uh, servant. You should be a, 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 a engaging with the people. Yeah? It's been an incident here, lads. Sergeant. There's another sergeant. There's five Gardaí here. I think they're discussing whether I have any right to be here. Like, um, is that, is, would you like to ask me any questions there? Have you any concerns? Philip Dwyer is my name. I'm a citizen journalist. Uh, I was just clarifying that you don't have to get to anyone in this Yeah, I haven't claimed to. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a national story here, guys. Yeah. And, and, uh, and just, just for the record, yeah, oh, it's the five guard you have to come for me, lads. He's coming for me. Guards, are you coming? Somebody report me for being here. Here we go. Here's a bit of banter. I'm a dub. What do you think of the dubs? Guard, do you think we have a chance this year against the Kerry lads now? 